god, y'all. <laughs> I'm officially done with today. It's actually been a while since I filmed because I graduated flight attendant training October 15th and today is December 20th which is definitely a long ways away from training. I did get scheduled my IOE December 3rd. I ended up getting sick and I finally got it rescheduled. The downfall is I have to work through Christmas and Christmas Eve. So that's the sucky part. Nonetheless, I am excited to start flying and write my my <laughs> I can't even talk. So my trip starts tomorrow. I have a six day trip. Technically it's a six day trip. Um, I'll break all that down later. And now I am just preparing my meal for my trip and my snacks and stuff. So that way I will have something to bring. Today I got a Dermaplan facial. Yes. Do you do your own facials? Are you still like get it done for experience? Um, I mean, I would like to get facials, but it's like I don't know. Like I, I know like how to do everything <laughs> myself, <laughs> and true. like yeah, and I like I'll dermaplane myself and everything. So it's like oh. yeah, I'd like to get a facial, but then it's like I feel like I'm like uh, kind of like, save the money. I guess. Yeah, save the money because like I'm basically getting the same thing it's just it doesn't feel as good because it's me doing it <laughs> Y'all know I be having problems with my skin. Y'all can see from the other videos from when I was in flight attendant training because the air was so dry and my face was breaking out really bad. I went to get a dermaplaning facial and a hydration facial so that way whenever I start flying, my skin doesn't get too dry. And as you can see, it is doing pretty good so far so i'll probably insert some clips of me getting the facial and i also got my eyebrows tinted so that way when i'm flying i don't have to worry about it i have a call with my ioe instructor in about an hour and a half so i'm gonna start making dinner or we'll make my meal prep slash dinner just got off the shuttle 
just made it to my room so i'm going to give you guys a little room tour this is my first official layover this is my longest layover it's 20 hour layover so that's gonna be really nice today was technically just like my deadhead flight which means that i don't work i just pretty much get paid to sit on the flight and fly to the to the location where they want me to be so that's what i did today and i had to commute from home in order to get here so i had to take two flights which was kind of tiring i'm just gonna chill um get my uniform ready unpack my lunch box to put it in the put the cold stuff in the fridge review some of my material for ioe tomorrow so my first day technically of my trip is done and i just have the rest of the day to myself and i have to meet my instructor tomorrow at 11 30. day one easy peasy because all i did was ride on the flight and get paid for it so cute room only one bed here is the fridge i just noticed there is no microwave it's pretty much it and not really a view but it's nice scenery as you can see i'm looking sleepy already so instead of going to the gym i'm just going to do some workouts in my room. I brought three band workout set that I got from Fit Girl Bod. So I'm just gonna do some workouts in my room with the um, at home video type thing. And I know the gym is downstairs, but I am, I don't know, I'm so tired. Damn, Zeus, you too cold, bro. What you doing? kind of in a little bit of a rush even though i woke up at seven o'clock to start getting ready um still kind of a little bit running behind because i have a few last minute errands to run downstairs which includes printing my trip sheet so that way i know where i'm going and i know how much time i have um so yeah it's currently 10 o'clock and i have to catch the shuttle at 10 30 so i just need to hurry up and go to print my sheet. I don't have to be there until 11:30, but the shuttle runs every 30 minutes, and I just kind of want to be early because LAX is a huge airport, and I don't know where I'm going. So, just gonna make this today's intro pretty quick, um, and then I will catch up with y'all once I get to the airport, most likely. Um, I have three legs today, and I. Not sure where they're going, so that's why I need to print my trip sheet.
breathe. So what is up? Oh, I officially finished my day. Oh, it went pretty good. It's currently 11:30 p.m. and your girl is tired. I had three legs from LA to. LA to Bozeman, Montana, then back to LA, then now I am in Medford, 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 <laughs> Medford, Oregon, um, for the night. Today was an adventure. Let's just say I spilled nuts all over the floor. Don't ask how. Today was like my actually first official day flying and actually working and doing the flight. Honestly, it was a little nerve-wracking. I did it and I still have a lot to learn. It was kind of, it was exciting. Um, I thought I'd be more tired. I thought I'd be more tired than I am. It's like, I'm just like a regular tired. I'm not like exhausted. Tomorrow should be an easy day. I only have two, two legs and the first leg is a deadhead, which means we are just riding the plane and pretty much like a passenger <clears throat> but we're going from medford to seattle and then seattle to tucson i believe arizona so that's it i'll just be working one flight then we have a 16 hour layover which is great uh we got here it was raining and freezing cold and i forgot my jacket home tour coming up officially done with today we really just had to work one flight and had one dead head to seattle and then seattle to tucson which i am here now just got into my hotel room it was an adventure to say the, to say the least but my one flight today was an amazing flight we had really good passengers in first class uh, one of the ladies she was really nervous to fly so we're just kind of talking to her along the way just to kind of take her mind off of what, what was happening because she didn't like the takeoff um, part of flying. It's like almost one and I'm kind of tired so I'm probably going to just um, catch y'all up in the morning of everything that happened. And I'll show y'all my room because it is so cute. This is probably like my favorite room so far. I got like the scorpion sweet or whatever it's called. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will catch y'all up in the morning. 
I'm tired. And every time I stay in a hotel, I get stuffy, so I'm not sick. I'm just digesting up to all these different airs. start with yesterday we got we landed at about 11 something we're the last flight to come in last people in the airport even captain recommended that we walk because the hotel was so close by so we're like okay we're gonna walk we're in the middle of the road walking because we ain't know where to go and it's not really much sidewalk at the airport we should pass us. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you guys. Right, and our family's gonna be like, this is what they do to you? <laughs> then we finally get to our hotel. We check in, everything's fine. It takes us forever to find our room. After walking so long to find our room, I get to my room and my key don't work. Oh, I'm like, great. So the other flight attendant is with me and she's getting a call from our job. And we're like, why are they calling us so late? Come to find out, I done dropped my bag. It's like this little satchel bag that has all of my required items that I need to fly, like my passport, my phone. Um, this little booklet that we have to carry, just everything that we have to have before we fly or we can't fly. I dropped all that and I dropped the little bag, including my cell phone in there. So they had to call her to reach me. I'm like, what are you talking about? I have my bag right. Then I realized, yeah, I must have dropped it while we were walking. Cause I already have three bags and that one makes four. So my hands like are full at that point. So I'm like, great. So, First we had to walk. Now my key doesn't even work for me to get in the room. Then I dropped my bag. Gratefully, we had an amazing flight and the pa a passenger had found the bag and dropped it to the hotel for me. <laughs> dropped it to the front desk. So that was a blessing. But I was like, oh man. So I really didn't get to like, oop. So I really didn't get like into my room till about 12, like midnight, so. I am pretty pooped. <laughs> that was an adventure. So today is Christmas Eve and I have two flights today. Tucson to Phoenix and then Phoenix to San Diego, which I love San Diego. Um, I was stationed there for three years. We have a pretty short, not short, we have like 39 way over there. So, not really much that we can do on Christmas Eve. Um, I'm probably gonna get my crew like little Starbucks gift cards because they are so amazing. Merry Christmas Eve, and I shall check back in. I didn't even, I didn't even make it to breakfast. That's how tired I was. So my first day, I dropped nuts all over the floor. My second day, I get locked out of the room and I lose my bag and my phone. So. Let's see what adventure today will bring. <laughs> uh, I always feel like I'm rushing whenever it's time to get ready. And I'll be getting ready like two hours ahead of time. So I'm gonna check the weather. And it's rainy today. So yay. Um, 
But going to head downstairs because our van pickup is in about 10 minutes. I will see y'all in Portland. I know. This is probably my favorite station of my I favorite base of the station. Almost consistently this summer. The only thing I don't like about Plax is that there's one porta potty. Uh, it's at the top of the hill. There's uh, no shower. Oh god. It is bad. Yeah. Hey, talk about deterring people not to come. My volume. definitely forgot to close out the vlog so I don't even remember where I left off last because I was just getting so exhausted towards like the end as you can see lashes came off hairs down I have sweats cozy jacket I don't remember where I left off last I think I was in San Diego and that was fun I had a really good time with the crew um, I kept them bought us drinks and it was the night of Christmas Eve so we just wanted to celebrate Christmas together because we were away from home um, and then that next morning I was just very tired and I had to wake up and shower and just get myself together on Christmas I had two, three flights San Diego to Jackson Hole then Jackson Hole to San Francisco then San Francisco back to LA so that was my last day that was my day six and the our first leg was good i the last two legs was the legs that i got tested on <sighs> sorry about that so anyway um long story short i passed my ile yay and i'm officially qualified to fly by myself thank you for watching